Hi friends, good morning. So today we are about to solve a very interesting question uh, which I'm sure every car enthusiast uh, has in mind uh, every time he steps into a showroom to look, take a look at the cars and different variants uh, which he's about to buy. Uh, that is whether to go for a petrol or a diesel car. I mean does it make sense because in a, in a country like India where the price of diesel is, is comparatively much lower than that of petrol uh, and the price of the car, these owning a diesel car is much higher and, and considering a lot of other uh, conditions, uh, does it make sense for, for a diesel car if and, and why? So what we are going to take a look at is a hypothetical case. We are about to help Ryanch. Ryanch is my three month old son and he in this hypothetical case lives in Hyderabad. He has uh, is considering buying a car and, and he, is, he has done his engineering and then started working uh, in one of the technology giant companies and what if what he pesters is he pesters the idea of going moving abroad four years from now for, for, uh, for uh, to pursue his business school aspirations so he doesn't see staying over for more than four years around he wants to get, get some uh, some experience over and then move uh, on with his life now being a business school aspirant strategy is one of the best uh, options that he would weigh in so he wants to weigh in his option and make an astute decision now he loves cars he loves uh, attractive cars and he's, he's a fan of German engineering so he likes uh, Volkswagen as a brand in terms of safety and other features so he's weighing out between two very similar models yet very different in terms of looks and uh, looks so if he's considering actually uh, buying Volkswagen Cross Polo but what his friends suggest is why don't you go with Pro, uh, Volkswagen GT 1.5 diesel so both are similar in terms of pricing similar uh, quite similar in terms of pricing but then the looks for Vex, Volkswagen Cross Polo is much uh, rich I mean it's it's richer and he actually loves it from his heart if he if he were to uh, take a very irrational decision he would go with Cross Polo without thinking about it but then he wants to weigh in this option and then see uh, for the four year period does it make sense for him now what are the options uh, that he is uh, what, are, what are the basic details about the case is uh, Volkswagen cross polo petrol costs him all these numbers are in uh, ex showroom prices from Mumbai INR so it costs him 8 lakh 25 thousand rupees ex showroom and Volkswagen polo GT 1.5 diesel costs him 9 lakh 20 so the other uh, important things that he wants to uh, take in, uh, into consideration is car variance mileage so uh, he has studied over and he, what, what, he, what he finds is cross polo would give him a normally distributed mileage of 15 and a variance of 2.5 uh, kilometers per liter while Volkswagen Polo GT has a better mileage of course being diesel car it gives him 20.5 and a variance of 3 kilometers kilometers now he's considering uh, getting a loan from the HDFC bank the ra rate of interest happens to be 9.6 percent per per annum the processing charges are one time and it's one percent of the principal amount borrowed the tenure that he's looking for is three years or 36 months uh, the other important thing is how much traveling will he be doing so pricing and travel petrol pricing triangular has a, has a triangular distribution of uh, it varies per liter between 61 to 82 and uh, the mean price petrol price per liter is about 71 71.5 rupees a liter uh, while this diesel uh, has a triangular distribution of 56 rupees uh, varying between 56 and 66 rupees uh, uh, while the mean lying bit, uh, at about 61 rupees a liter per day travel for him is a uniform distribution of about 25 to 30, 32 kilometers it, it varies between these two ranges uh, which makes the per month travel to be 7750 to 960 so what's our case objectives with with all these details in mind so we have uh, we have the petrol mileage which is a normal distribution we have petrol pricing uh, per liter which is a triangular distribution these are all uh, findings of the of, of this case and this is uh, as of today uh, per day travel uh, is about 25 to 32 uh, so it makes a per month uh, also a uniformly distributed 750 to 960 uh, now 
Our case objective is to help Rayanj, uh, who will not be staying lower, uh, longer than four years in India, considering four years which variant makes sense for him. And he would also be interested uh, in knowing the break-even period, if and when petrol and diesel cars break even and the diesel car starts making more sense. So let's implement this model and uh, help Rianch out. So Volkswagen Cross Polo, as I said, has uh, the prices, uh, Volkswagen, both of them have the respective prices as we can see in this Excel and we will be using at risk to solve this problem through simulation. Uh, the bank EMI as rate of interest is 9.65 so we convert that into per month divided by 12 per processing charges is 1% one time the tenure of loan is 3 years the EMI formula is, is fairly simple and uh, and it's and it is uh, what you can see here so uh, what does P R and N respectively mean is P is the principal value that we that you will be borrowing as of today R is the rate of interest per month so that is why we have divided and converted our per annum rate of interest into per month n is the number of monthly installments so having said that uh, we can calculate uh, the EMI for any amount that is being borrowed through this formula okay and next we move to fuel price we have fuel price in a triangular distribution and we have used at risk as uh, to define the distribution so it's a triangularly distributed uh, value which lies between 61 the, the min and the max lie between 61 and 82 and the most likely value is 71.5 similarly uh, we have the diesel price which uh, lies between uh, 56 to 66 61 is being the most likely value uh, now let's move on to take a look at uh, the per month travel so per month travel what we are trying to say is it's a uniform distribution it lies between 750 to 960 kilometers uh, that is what Rianz expects to travel and he wouldn't be traveling any more than that uh, normal distribution for the mileage so let's try to take a look it's a uniform it's it's a normal distribution which has a mean value of 15 and a variance of 2.5 kilometers uh, of mileage for the Polo GT so now let's move on and, and take a look at the diesel as well that that's uh, now next the the distance mileage for petrol so that is distance by by mileage we get the number of liters that will be consumed and hence the cost price per month so we get the cost price uh, per month that he will be spending in petrol would be 4075.5 rupees similarly for diesel we get these values uh, so diesel main I mean the fuel prices would be around uh, 2544 that is the different distributions now let's get to the important aspect of using this up so EMI comes out to be uh, using the same formula EMI comes out to be 26,485 for the cross polo that is the that is the petrol variant the diesel variant is slightly higher the price obviously being higher the fuel price is as respectively and then we have a processing fee which was one percent for each of them uh, so that just let me just adjust that I guess it should be eight and yeah so that so the total first month cost for him would be 38,810 and 41,279 so that that's the price now let's try to simulate this so uh, and, and help him make the decision so what we see here is the total cost for for the first month so the first month is 38,000 as we saw and respectively for, for this for the second we have this cumulative price the second month onwards the processing fee is no more applicable so it just comes out to be uh, less just just the sum of the F2 and F3 that is these two values that is fuel and EMI so going ahead with this cumulative pricing we are just summing this uh, <coughs> and getting a cumulative price uh, and also we are uh, getting the number of kilometers that needs to be run uh, for this applies for the petrol and the diesel as well we have simulated this for both of them and this is a decision where we are simply saying if uh, the petrol price 
is greater than if the diesel price is is greater than petrol or vice versa we get the petrol variant you should be going with the petrol or the diesel variant respectively now we are all set let's simulate this so we are going to use a 90% of confidence interval in, in, in getting the results so there we go so we have our results let's take a look now for Rianch the petrol is going to make sense for quite some time for him it's this that is the break even period so only if he owns the car for more than 72 months that means six years is where the break even period would lie and the diesel would be start winning now uh, if we were to take a look after 36 months how much Rianch would pay uh, this would be the amount that he would pay for a petrol and a diesel variant so after 36 months this is the amount he pays uh, all in all for for his diesel car and this is the amount that he pays all in all for his petrol car but then Petrol still makes sense for him and uh, this is uh, the break even period so we are saying six years from now he uh, if he's going to stay more than six years he should go with the diesel car and and save some money otherwise owning a petrol car makes sense for him and lucky for him that is what he did without his knowledge so so without this knowledge of stats and and simulations so that's where he actually went ahead and purchased uh, his cross polo variant so that's all I I would like to yes so this is the car that he ultimately went ahead and bought and uh, without that piece of knowledge so absolutely it made sense for him thank you guys so this model is a very generic one we can feed in and and, and uh, get a hang, hang of it and so we, what we have done in the process of helping Rianch is we have actually uh, build a model to compare the pricing and get a break even uh, between the petrol and the diesel variant for any cars thank you so much have a great sunday got to go got to meet him thank you